Good day, everybody, and welcome to our stream. Well, it's a little of uh, model matching uh, errors hitting just as we go uh, live on the mic. Hope you're all doing well. Hello, chat. Christian, Kevin, Scott, Dark. Welcome, welcome. Merry Christmas to you guys, and thanks for joining us today. Uh, we are flying today from Manchester over to uh, Raveniemi in Finland, home of the Christmas Village. And uh, it's uh, not looking like a great day down here on the ground. We got rain and overcast here in Manchester. I know there's low clouds and rain in Finland. We'll see what happens when we get there. But we do have ATC up, at least for the first part. We'll see what happens. Clemo, hello, welcome. How are you doing? So we're back here in the Boeing 737-800 in the Christmas livery, as you can see. And uh, we'll be heading off. We do have some Christmas entertainment on the IFE, and we have Christmas items on the menu. So uh, it's Christmas all around. Uh, if I sound a little tired or anything, I just got in from my flight last night flying back from England. So uh, I haven't had much sleep, but we got to do the, uh, the flight now and get this in. So let's hop on board. We'll start getting set up and get underway. It's been a little bit since I've flown the airplane, so. Hopefully I remember how to fly it still. All right, so we'll get ourselves into the cockpit. Looks like they haven't even turned it on, although they did put the parking brakes on. That is nice of them for us. So we're gonna go up top now. Uh, there we go. All right, so battery switch is coming on. Standby power is on and that is good. And emergency lights are armed and guarded. We'll come back down below now. We can uh, ask them to make sure the ground power unit is all set up and plugged in. So they're going to bring that in line now. And uh, we are going to be boarding through the air stairs. So it looks like passengers will be getting a little bit wet today. I know Kevin is flying along with us. Uh, let me know if anyone else is going to be joining us as well. All right, so the ground power is up. And we are now on ground power. And uh, just going to get the dome lights on. Get a little bit of illumination in here. There we go. All right, so lights are going to come on. We are going to go to... Uh, steady on the position lights and we are going to turn up our panel lights as it is kind of meh out today oh, dark's loading in excellent these panel lights up here as well so you can see everything that's going on down here yeah, let's get roger set up there so back up top we go IRS's we can go into align mode so there's the left and right both to nav passenger signs are on electric hydraulic pumps are now coming online yaw damper is online window heats are on both sides oh Christian you coming as well oh bad landing at Tromso uh, was it weather related left F fuel pump is now coming online and we will start the APU power on there's the flash of the light and starting the APU while the APU starts we can get our passengers to start boarding uh, first of all we're gonna come down here and uh, Take a look at here. Uh, let's go to uh, turn 
we're going to our fuel. We're going to put in our fuel now. So our fuel is going to be... Sorry, just got to redo the flight plan in the proper format. Ah, not laser. Hello. Welcome. Glad you could join us. All right. So our fuel today is going to be 9,641 kilograms. So that is now entered in. Ooh, well, 500 is not too bad. It's very firm. We'll uh, we'll say that. All right, fuel is set. We're gonna return. We'll go to payload. Payload for today's flight. Uh, actually, we should be able to bring in the the uh, reef first. Let's see if it does link it in. Let's go to position initialization. Page two, grab the left GPS. That is set. Route, request the flight plan. Ah, that's what I forgot to do. Just give me a second here, guys. I just have to uh, copy the flight plan into the appropriate directory. that one all right so we're going to return request flight plan three egcc to efro we'll bring that in select it and we will uh, request our flight plan i forgot you had to do that with this airplane it in and we will activate and execute okay so the flight plan is now in we're gonna come back over here FS actions payload Just want to check the fuel, see if that's changed anything. No, nope, that's all still good. So for today, we are carrying 138 passengers. So we're not quite full, but we're going to have uh, a few. So that's going to be. Uh, 130 in economy and 8 in business class. Just looking at my weights here. So we are going to put uh, 900 kilos of cargo in the front and She make it uh, 500 in the front and 700 in the rear. That is all good there. So that is our loading there done. Back over to the FMC and we can tell the cabin crew to start loading. There they go. Flight number for today, UKV 5556. And there's our route. It's looking very good. So our departure today, uh, we're going off on runway 05 left on the pole 4S. That's the plan anyway. And our arrival 
currently as it stands at the moment will be the ILS Zulu for runway 21. Just do a quick update on the weather over there. Uh, yeah, winds are out of the south. So it'll be the ILS Zulu runway 21, and we're going to be going in on the. Which one is it? The Negru, the Ne. The Nemgu to Charlie arrival. And we're going in via V. Vika. And that is all set, and we will execute that. Alright, now we can do our performance. Aircraft gross weight is 65.1. Planned fuel is 9.6. Our reserves are 0.9. Cost index of 25. Our cruise altitude today is flight level 370. Cruise winds 268. At 43. Transition altitude is 6,500. And we'll accept that. And we'll now go to our N1 limits. The airport information is in. Weather information is in. Runway is wet. And our planned takeoff weight, once again, is 65.064. And we will calculate. Cell temperature is not in. We're doing a TO 124K D rate. Uh, so that is good. Our winds at the runway are 080 at 5. And it will be a flaps one departure. Our center of gravity is 25.3. Distance remaining 1300 feet. And that gives us a 142, 144, and 152. We take off. Oh, looks like the rain has stopped. It's going to move over here for a second and we'll get uh, set up over there. So the APU is up and running. Got a little out of sequence here, but we will turn the APU bleed air on. Set our cruise altitude of 3,700 or 37,000. Landing altitude for today's flight will be 650 feet. Go. All right, 
packs are going to auto. Isolation valve is open. FMC is set. See the roots now showing up. So while we wait on that, I am going to go to traffic ten and terrain. And Roger's going to go to centered. I'm going to give him a 40 knot view and I'm going to turn on his traffic as well. So that's done. Uh, this is uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and on the PMDG 737-800. So let's go up top. Uh, I think it's this one. And we can do some of our tests. So mock air speed warning. Good. Stall warning, uh, captain side, first officer side. Come down here now, we will do our in op test. So our warnings are up. That's good. Clear that. And now we do our fire test. Overheat, all three, one, two, and APU. That is good in our system. Light slow. Pull up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Airspeed low. Airspeed low. All right. So it's running through its test modes. So we're going to come down here and start setting up our comms. The second one we're going to want is Manchester Departure, and that is on 118. They're doing a toga? Interesting. Uh, 118575. 118575, and we're now going to set ground, who we're going to contact in a second for our clearance. And they are 850. And it looks like... DG63, uh, Fox Drop, correct from Papa, Quebec. The server is already degree 6 knot from which we're flying. The has gone offline, so that's okay. Or do we need uh, a new PDC? Uh, sorry, Tomjet 324, so that again, sorry. Oh, was that 221? It was uh, Tomjet 324, and we were previously cleared to Skiathos and had to return to Manchester after departure. Um, what I would like to know is, is our previous post-departure clearance still valid, or do we need a new clearance? Uh, no laser, or, or not laser. Uh, uh, I'm on Pier B, gate 4, a new flight at one. Manchester. So my initial flight plan should have been for Skiathos, but I assume the other control has changed it when I uh, need to return. What I'll do is I'll file a new one and then I'll call you back. Yeah, no problem. Sometimes you may need to disconnect V-Pilot and reconnect. Sometimes it doesn't come through when you're doing a return leg. Um, so just do that anyway. Manchester ground, good afternoon. Skyways 5556 with you. Gate 4, Boeing 737-800. Looking for clearance to Rovamayeni. Uh, Skyway 5556, five, stand by, I'll call you back. Alright, so after approach, it's going to be Manchester Control. control. Two, four, two, one, five, two, Skyway 2521, two, no problem. Break, break, 10x64, continue taxi now to Alpha Foxtrot 1. Oh, it looks like Echo, deliveries come online. Delta, Bravo, and Alpha. Just came online right now. Alpha, All stations, all stations, Manchester Delivery is online, so if you need clearance, contact Manchester Delivery on 121.70. 
One, two, one, seven, zero. Ten ground, DC six four from here, Bravo. How for Fox Charlie? As a courtesy to other passengers, please double check that all your items are put away right. so that the aisle is clear and other passengers can make their way to their seats. Manchester clearance delivery, Skyways five 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 six with you, gate four, Boeing seven thirty seven eight hundred, looking for clearance to Rovaniemi. Skyways five 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 six, Manchester delivery. Hello, cleared Rovaniemi to Pole Hill for Sierra departure, squawk seven two five two. Cleared via the pole for Sierra departure and squawking seven two five two. Skyways five 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 six. Skyways five 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 six. Feedback correct. Report fully ready on my frequency. Information Foxtrot. Uh, Roger, we'll report ready with you and info Foxtrot. Skyways five 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 six. All right, so we are. Good day. Five one five six. Seven 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 one five Paper Manier, Paul Hill, for Sierra Departure, Squawk 7614, Lufthansa 1 Vic X-ray. Return to 1 Vic X-ray, we'll be back correct. Report fully ready on my frequency. 1 Vic X-ray. And mentioned to deliver good afternoon, and the 281 is going to go ahead, stand 27, type 86 with Foxtrot, we have killed the uh, rope name. Uh, 1 Vic X-ray, what's your call sign, sorry? B tours, and it'll be Charlie Kilo Tango in the closet. B two. Yes, uh, BEA Air Tours. Just send it by text, please, sorry. Let's go. Alright, so we're still 05 left. And it's varying. Manchester Ground, this nine, is nine, Air Linga 213 requesting clearance to Dublin. So we'll get our 997 set. What was the call sign, sorry? You say Air Lingus. Sorry, may you repeat, please? What is your call sign, please? Air Lingus 213. Air Lingus 213, okay, so your call sign would be. <laughs> Shamrock. Stand by. Standing by. So are you. Okay, so it's Shamrock 213 will be your call sign, is that okay? Shamrock, right? That's right. So you, if you can, can you disconnect and reconnect? Your call sign will be Echo India November two one three. Let's go zero five two here for our initial it's heading. Connecting and connecting again. Five thousand feet is our initial Indian clearance, and we're going to want that's our right, initial uh, climb speed of one nine, V2 plus twenty. So it's one seven two. So good morning, Mr. Pole Hill for Sierra Departure, Squawk seven zero two zero. Roger that, uh, that's no worries. I'm here to um, what do you mean? Uh, by the pause for all right, that's all set uh, up. So transponder um, is set. Our safety checks and testing have all been done. Fuel is on board. Baggage is on board. Manchester delivery, good afternoon. Sierra Departure, Squawk 875, stand line. We're a Boeing 738. We're uh, uh, information Fox Travel requesting our flight close to destination file, please. B bird 875, hello. Can you accept flight level 370 or 390 as your final level? Uh, we'll accept 370 or uh, speed bird 875. 875, thank you. Good Robin Yemi. Pole Hill 4 Sierra Departure, Squawk 7016. Take off that, it is Pearl all Hill set. Pole Hill 4 Sierra Departure, Squawk 7016. Speed bird 875, feedback correct. Support fully ready on my frequency. And just to clear on this is Shamrock. All right, so for push and start, oh, there's a two-way going out. Uh, we're going to be pushing out, and we'll be facing to the west. So let's bring that up. We'll push this back to about there. And we're going to turn to a heading of uh, And just to be able to find my flight plan, Shamrock 213. Shamrock 213, thank you very much. Clear Dublin, Asmim 1 Sierra uh, Departure, Squawk 5261. Okay. Uh, 
try 230. Nope. 200. Closer. Squawk 5213, Shamrock 413. That's better. And please may you repeat the departure. And exit to it's a 5261 for the squawk. And your departure is Admin 1 Sierra. Alright. Yeah, way to go, Kevin. I'll you and your text for you. old, out of date airlines. Yes, please, uh, that will be okay. Yeah, it's there for you, have a look. So I think we're all pretty well set. We're just waiting on the final passengers to come on board. Once again, we do have the Christmas menu available. Let me just uh, bring it up. So once we get up into the uh, high level climb, over 10,000 feet, we'll be uh, beginning our drink service. And as mentioned, we have all the uh, in-flight entertainment set up for uh, this Christmas flight as well. Cleared to Dublin by a Alpha Sierra Mike India. Mike yeah, I forgot it as well. I got him showing as a default. Uh, um, the factory. Shamrock two one three. Shamrock two one three. We back correct. Report fully uh, ready on my frequency. Not laser. What are you doing wrong? What's going on? We we'll report when we are ready. Shamrock two one three. Thank you. So just so we can see the aircraft, oh, Ryanair besides, oh that looks nice, a couple easies, Ryanair, got the Aer Lingus over there, there's Kevin, and his factory over there, which I've got set up, so any uh, A310 that I don't have matched will automatically go to that default, and there's, uh, I think that's Dark over there in the Lufthansa. Yeah, we're delivering some jet 324. Uh, we're not on a server. Uh, not laser, this is VATSIM. So we're not on the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator servers. So there's our uh, Christmas livery. You can see the snowflakes. Uh, Tom Jet 34, hello, go ahead. You can see the snowflakes on the back. Uh, so we previously filed a uh, flight plan for the Atos and were cleared um, about an hour ago. Uh, and then after departing Manchester, we had to in return due to our um, pressurization failure. What I would like to know is do I need a new PDC or is my old PDC still valid? Oh, we've got a uh, virgin uh, over there. Tom Jet it looks all okay from my screen. It looks like it's still a list of two Sierra departure. And I guess your squawk was 0473, so that still looks the same to me. Hey firm, so we'll go ahead and... Uh, uh, not laser, you don't do that, sir. And we'll continue to squawk 0473, thanks for that, Tom Jet 3, 2, 4. Thanks very much, and just confirm your requested level, sorry. Uh, we would like flight level 360, if possible. Can you take 370? Uh, oh, hey firm, okay. 370. 370, thank you. Report's fully ready for push and start on my frequency. It might, uh, might take you a little bit to uh, get set up. Um, I don't know, we'll probably be off and away by the time you get the uh, VAT sim up and going and get your flight plan booked and everything. I'm getting close to being finished on my loading. Manchester Clearance, may you please see my message in the chat? Shamrock 413. Sorry, second. May you please check my message in the chat? Um, I haven't got a message. I think you might be messaging the wrong controller. Um, I'm delivery. Yeah, I'm about to send. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, go for it. Thank you. So it shouldn't be much longer until we're all on board.
Oh, um, the livery Lufthansa 1 Victor X ray. Is it possible to amend our Rains are starting two, again? Five, ah, zero, everybody's zero, on board, so that is slightly, fantastic. Slightly heavy today. No, you need to pay me. <laughs> All right, so take off that it is all in and set cruise altitude is set 370, landing altitude is set 650 feet, MCP is all set up. Initial climb altitude of 5,000, heading a 052 and 172 on the airspeed flight directors are coming online. And radio frequencies are set. We have clearance delivery and then we have ground. All right, so stairs are released. Subject three two four information Fox Trot. We uh, have the load sheets. Subject three two four, thank you. Hold your position. Contact ground one two one decimal eight five zero. Merry Christmas. Waiting for the doors to close. Hold position and uh, you too. Subject three two four. Bye. Thanks, delivery very good. I've seen two veteran one two seven Charlie heavy. Stand 210, we have information for short type samples on 200 request clearance to... As you can see, the stairs have pulled away, and we are all closed Hello. up, so what we're going to do is release the ground power in a second. Uh, let's get the APU generators online. APU's up, APU leads are already on. That's all good there. So we're going to get the ground power off. Thank you, Asmin One Sierra Departure, Squawk Six Two Five Three. Wheel chocks are removed. Parking brakes are set. Squawk Six Two Five Three. Squawk Six Two Five Three. We'll call for the ready one, Seven Charlie. Let's get the tug. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We will be ready shortly. Roger. Delivery Skyways five 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 six ready for push and start. Skyways five 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 six and correction. Hold your position and contact ground one two one decimal eight five zero. Merry Christmas. Hey Roger, we'll contact ground and Merry Christmas. Skyways five 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 six. Jump back in. Lufthansa 1 Victor X ray, we are also uh, fully ready. So over to ground. And we're going to want the approach controller. It's going to be 118. 575. There we go. Manchester ground, Skyways 5556, five, gate 4, ready for push and start. Skyways 5556. Five, five, Stand four, push and start approved, facing south. Push and start approved, facing south, Skyways 5556. Uh, parking brake start set. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead, flight deck. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger, release the parking brakes, please. Parking brakes released. Pushing back. All right, so let's get up top again. Fuel pumps are all coming on. Packs are off. Engine mode selector, ignition selector is set to You're clear both. behind it, you start your engines at your discretion. Engine two, start switch to ground. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the flight attendants for a safety demonstration. When the seatbelt light is fastened, please make sure that your seatbelt is fastened Once I get up to 2.0, start up and push back in and then I'll add fuel. Kilo 9 Zulu, push and start approved, stand 49 facing west. Please take a few moments to now locate one of the several emergency exits on the aircraft. Adding fuel? I don't know why it's turning this a little short and then let's see where we end up. There is lighting on the floor that will guide you towards the exit. In the oh. event that the cabin loses pressure, an oxygen mask will drop right in front of you. The Start the flow of oxygen, on. pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth, and you're ready to lock the fan behind your head. Tighten the straps if necessary, and breathe normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen uh, will flow into the mask. If you are traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask.
I'm not sure where that Ryanair came from. And he's disappeared. Excellent. Pushback complete. Set to park and brakes, please. Starting engine one. Good start engine brakes, sir. Roger. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. Thanks, and you can disconnect and go to hand signals. Thanks. Have a good flight. See you later. Center fuel tanks are on. Forgot we had fuel in the center. Subject 324, request taxi for departure. Once again, all devices must be in airplane mode. Subject 324, taxi Juliet Echo, Bravo Alpha, hold out for Golf 1. Taxi Juliet Echo, Bravo Alpha, and hold Alpha Golf 1, uh, Tom Jet. This is a non smoking flight. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the smoke detectors located in the laboratories is prohibited by law. All of this information and more can be found on the safety card located in the seat back in front of you. We suggest reading this and let us know if you have any questions. A little bit questions. dark in here. Manchester ground, Shamrock 213 requesting pushback. Shamrock 213, just stand by. And we should get the click in a second. There we go. Everyone on what well, all stations, everyone on the delivery frequency, you can switch to ground now, one two one decimal Generators eight five zero. So everyone with delivery switch to ground one, now, one, one two one decimal eight five zero. And two are on engine one and two start selector switches will go to continuous. Probe heats are coming on. Anti ice not required at the moment. Just so one for X ray. Engine 1 and 2 bleeds are on. Packs left and right are to auto. Research fans left and right are on. Isolation valve set to auto. APU bleed is off. APU is off. Flaps 1 is selected for takeoff. Trim 4.86. Shamrock 213. So we're going to go... Yes, 4.86. Are you aware of... Well, did you say that you don't have the Admin 1 Sierra? Uh, flight controls. May you please repeat so when you're left, on? Full right, neutral, full forward, full back, Do you have the Admin back, 1 neutral, Sierra departure? Left rudder, right rudder, neutral. No, sorry, I don't have... Engine instruments are... Right. Good. LNAV, VNAV, heading select. Do you select, have anything similar? And level change are armed. Auto throttles armed. Uh, system recall is Stand clear. Stand by, let me check. Taxi yes, light Because the Asmim 1 is Sierra departure on. is pretty much the only departure and that you can do from your point. And auto brakes set to RTO. So we are good for taxi. Ground Skyways 5556, five, ready for taxi. Skyways 5556, five, five, hello, taxi Lima, Charlie and Alpha, hold Alpha Golf 1. Taxi Lima, Charlie, Alpha, hold Alpha Golf 1, Skyways 5556. Five, five, All right. Manchester Ground, Brakes are off. can't find the uh, standard instrument departure as Ethnim 150. Um, Asmim 1 Sierra, it's not 5, it's Sierra for S, Sierra. Yes, I can't seem to see it in my FMC. It's, uh... Tom Jet 324, contact Manchester yeah, Radar, 118.575, Merry Christmas. 118.575, thanks a lot, you too, Tom Jet 324. Vision 127, Charlie Stan, 210, fully ready. Version 127 Charlie, stand 210, push and start approved facing south. Push and approved facing south, 127 Charlie, thank you. Alright, so we're currently on Lima. The cabin is ready. And Mr. Grand, good afternoon, B2 is one and we're here directly for the stairs. I keep forgetting your call sign. Oh, uh, Beatles, 19 That's correct, yeah, B2 is 19 Tango, happy. Beatles, 19 Tango, hello again, stand 27, push and start approved facing south. All right, so we're heading down here to Charlie.
will test the ground and then the test. Shamrock two one three. Can you just try and look carefully? Because if you have those departures there, you should be able to have this one. There's there's no reason why you shouldn't have that. Just look carefully, please. All right, let me check. Yeah, zero five left. Just be sure. Uh, oh, one 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 it's zero five left, and the only seed that I'm finding are the ones that start, uh, have typed in the text message. <laughs> Pull for Sierra. Uh, that's the one. Should be a flight one now. Roger. I'll get back to you. Alright, we're on Alpha, we're going down to... Uh, uh, left one, one big taxi, we're for taxi. One big taxi, watch our hold position. Alpha Golf 1 is our hold point. Speedbird 875, ready for taxi. Speedbird 875, taxi GDS Echo, Plaza Alpha, hold Alpha Golf 1. Oh, you're not in right now? Oh, okay. Uh, can you just repeat that for us, Speedbird 875? 875, Taxi Juliet Echo, Bravo and Alpha, hold Alpha Golf 1. Juliet Echo, Bravo, Alpha and hold Alpha Golf 1, just be the nation five. There's that 2E, I think, lining up on the run. Oh, okay. So, uh, is that with uh, uh, X Plane 12 or Microsoft Flight Simulator? Or did you go to 12? Are you still running 11? Can't remember. Well, still got the rain, but the winds are slightly on the. It's going to be slightly on the right nose. All right, so this is Alpha Foxtrot coming up. Hey, just a passenger. That's good. Well, enjoy the flight. Nations ground, good day, uh, EZ-64, uh, Romeo Bravo, uh, stand 53, A320, information Foxtrot for the clearance. And, oh, oh Romeo Bravo, hello, number two. Manchester good Terminal has just gone offline. Skyway 5556, contact Manchester Radar, 118, decimal 575, Merry Christmas. 118575, Skyway 5556, Merry Christmas. going to stop here at AG1. So fuel flow is looking good. V speeds are checked 142, 172. MCP is set. Nav data is set. Radios are set. And we're just going to come to a stop. Manchester departure, Skyways 5556 with you, Alpha Golf 1. Skyways 5556, five, five, prime landing, Air Lingus, Airbus A220, via Alpha Golf 1, runway 05, left line of the wake. Behind landing, Air Lingus, via Alpha Golf 1, line up and wait, Skyways 5556. Five, five, so we get that on, we'll set you over to that. Oh, I should have had my. TCAS on, and that's all on and set. There, he's, there he is. So we'll roll out.
Looks like we got another one out there about uh, four miles out. Seven Rock 239 on runway 05 left, Picade at Vail Hotel. Seven Rock 239, Roger, stand by, brake, brake, Charlie 5556, five, Citroen Dari, Citroen 6, Nuts, runway 05 left, clear for takeoff, please expedite. Yeah, clear for takeoff, we'll expedite Skyways 5556. Five, Right, the engines are set and, uh, sharp, and stable. Contact Manchester Ground 125. Good afternoon. Away we go. Contact uh, Manchester Ground on 121 decimal 25. Goodbye, have a nice day. 121 decimal 85 for ground. 121 decimal 85. Goodbye. Checked. Easy 251, Mr. Swindler, 8736, six miles from Wizard 05, left to Lidland. Positive rate of climb. You're up. Uh, you have to left, uh, you need to find. Guys, 555, I think I can help there. Contact Scottish. Oh, actually, no. Uh, report your passing altitude. Uh, we're through 1,700 for Skyways 5556. We're on the Skyways 5556, we're climb level 190. Flight level 190, Skyways 5556. Get that up. 190. Manchester Radar, good afternoon, Speed of Nation 5, we're at Manchester Taxi in on Alpha, holding short Alpha Golf. Speed of Nation 5, we're at Alpha Golf. Speed of Nation 5, we're at Alpha Golf. Shall I Alpha Golf Shot 1 or Alpha Golf 1? Uh, we're Alpha Golf 1, so apologies. We're accelerating. Speed of Nation 5, on a problem, we're Alpha Golf 1, line of a weight runway 05 left. Via Alpha Golf 1, line of 05 left, Speed of Nation 5. Easy 251, welcome to Manchester, contact to Manchester Ground 1, to 185, good afternoon, bye bye. Alright, so positive rate gear up, autopilot is on, uh, auto brakes are off, we're through flap traction speed, flaps are coming up, gear lever is off, engine start switches, we'll leave them on due to the heavy rains, runway turn off lights are off, taxi light is off, cabin pressurization is working fine. Let's, uh, no, we should keep climbing. Ah, that's the restrictions kicking in, but he's cleared us higher. Looks like towers come online at Manchester now. Go to 875, so it's 6 knots from Wizard 05 left, you clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, speed with 875. Alright, we're through transition altitude, so over to standard pressure. Oh, good to hear you got them both working well. No, it's just familiarity and uh, getting back on it with that sim and stuff like that. Alright, we're coming up for 10,000 feet. There's 10,000 feet, so landing lights will come off. Uh, cabin is still pressurizing fine. Seat belts are going to stay on until we get through the clouds. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now passing through. 
10,000 feet. You can now turn on your larger portable electronic devices. As a reminder, please keep your seatbelt fastened while you are seated and do not congregate in the galleys or near the lavatory. This aircraft is equipped with onboard Wi-Fi. You will be required to pay a small fee if you wish to access it. We do offer complimentary in-flight TV thanks to our partners. Connect to the Wi-Fi and you'll be able to access our wide range of free light TV yeah, I haven't even looked into that. I know it's available here in uh, Microsoft Flight Slim, but on some of the airplanes, but I, I haven't even gotten into any of that stuff yet. Nice, so we're accelerating up to 300 knots. Should get kicked over to Unicom shortly. Because there's no other controllers. Just gonna check, yeah, still no weather radar. bit of a shame. Alright, we're past pole. So how do I get my speed to go back into, go away, because I'm in MCP speed, I want to get out of MCP speed, oh VNAV, that's right, there we go, I'll go back into VNAV, let her do her thing. That looks like dark's up. Gary 55560, Flutter ATC, Flutter come one to two decimal eight, good afternoon. 228 for Skyways 5556, Merry Christmas, thanks for the ATC. Alright, so flight level 370 it is. We maybe hit the top of the clouds. It's twenty thousand feet. Things have kind of calmed down a little bit, so the seatbelt signs come off. Christian, you're still on the ground? Yeah. Well, hopefully you get up soon. I think Kevin's still on the ground as well.
I've still got those lights off, yep. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's getting a little bit lighter in here. Not sure how high those cloud tops go, though. And they're 25,000 feet. So I think we'll be able to settle down, get the drinks cart out, get the galley open, and we can do our thing. Looks like we're going to be coming to the top soon. It's starting to get a little bit lighter out. <laughs> I just noticed yeah, the menu. Let's see what we got here. Drinks. It's their own mince pies, roast chestnuts. That's not the actual menu, but that's what they put in the uh, delivery. Bratwurst, roast turkey, cranberry brie, and Kazaplatzl, whatever that is. But uh, which uh, which view do we want? That one, that one, and that one. Yeah, let's go for that view. All right, I'm going to bring up the in-flight entertainment. Menu, the uh, galley is open. You can put in your requests. And uh, Kevin's up. So I guess we're just waiting on Christian now. Anyway, we'll see if anything happens, if ATC comes along or anything. But other than that, I'll be in the chat and uh, enjoy the entertainment and the service on board today's flight to Santa's Christmas Village. And we'll be back to uh, brief the arrival in a few hours. See you then.
this time, Station KID-TV brings you the special event of the year, a first in television history. At this very moment, KID-TV has standing by a television crew at Santa Claus Workshop. And in just a few seconds, our special correspondent, Andy Henderson, will bring you a person-to-person -person interview with Santa Claus himself direct from the North Pole, where at the moment, the temperature is 91 degrees below zero. And now KID TV takes you via Telstar, Andy Henderson at the North Pole. Hi, kids. This is Andy Henderson at the North Pole. Woo, it's cold up here. <laughs> From this spot, there's only one direction you can go, and that's south. <laughs> Living up here is pretty rough. I don't see how Santa stands it. Hmm? <laughs> Since we've been here, we've eaten nothing but frozen food. At least that's the way it is by the time we get it. <laughs> and now, let's take a look-see into Santa's workshop. Hello again. Boys and girls, it's just weeks before Christmas, and Santa and his helpers are working overtime to make sure that there's enough toys for the kids all over the world. Santa's a pretty busy man, but I'm sure he'd like to say a few words to you kids. Hello, Santa. Oh, hello, son. Oh, oh, hello, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, it's Andy. You caught me at a very busy time. Well, uh, <laughs> do you think you'll be ready by Christmas Eve? Well, we've never disappointed the kids yet. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, is it true that this year there's a rumor that you're going to use a rocket sled? No, sorry. We're going out the good old-fashioned way with my reindeer, Prancer and Dancer and Dunder and Blixen and Vixen and Nixon. Nixon, uh, all right, I get that. Well, I always can't on it. I get those names mixed up, but the kids know their names. <laughs> ah, there you are. We have so much to do, and you stand here dawdling, talking to this visitor. Mr. Anderson, this is Mrs. Claus. Uh, we're dear. We're on television. How do you do, Mr. Anderson? Ma'am? Now, I want you to go and finish painting those hobby horses. Television? Did you say we're on television? Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Oh, my hair's a mess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, Mr. Anderson, and I'll show you some of the new toys we're turning on. How's it going, Winky? Everything is a-okay, Santa. Good man. <laughs> Winky is in charge of our space department. Ah. Oh, uh, now here, here is the latest toy rocket. It runs on real rocket fuel. Really? Mm. I've been wondering, what is this strange little creature over here? Oh, uh, Winky made that. That's his idea of a Martian. A Martian? <laughs> Wowie, wow, I'd hate to meet a creature like that on a dark night. <laughs> I wonder if there really are people on Mars. Well, who knows? Well, if there are, I hope they have someone like you up there, Santa, to bring joy and good cheer to all the Martian children. Oh, Mr. Anders. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Keep going, Winky. Christmas Eve is coming soon. Now, Mr. Anderson, I want to show you some more things. Grappo! Grappo, you lazy good-for-nothing, where are you? Grappo. Grappo, wake up! Wake up! Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I'm sorry, Chief Keevar, sir. Droppo, you are the laziest man on Mars. Why are you sleeping during working hours? I wasn't sleeping, Chief. It's just that I haven't been able to sleep these last few nights. I forgot how. So I was just practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I suggest you practice doing your work. Where's Lady Momar? 
or she went to the food pill center to get some new food pills. The children haven't been eating well. No appetite at all. Well, it's no wonder. They sit in front of the video set all day watching those ridiculous Earth programs. It confuses them. Where are they? Oh, and they're watching Earth programs. Say, Santa, what have we here? These are new dolls. Now, this little doll walks, talks, flies, and she even sings. Almost like a real, live little girl. That she is, sir. That she is. All she needs is tender, loving care. Gilmar, what is a doll? I don't know, Gilmar. What is tender, loving care? I don't know either. Gilmar, Gilmar. I told you not to watch those silly Earth programs. Now go to sleep. Must we go to sleep now, Father? I want to see Santa Claus some more. I want to see more toys. No, go to sleep. I see you're keeping busy. Oh, I've been working very hard, Lady Mobar. I've been vacuuming the room. Good. Is the master here? Oh, he's in there. And Kimar is very angry, too. Kimar, I bought some new food pills. I hope the children will eat these. We have hamburger, buttered asparagus, mashed potatoes, and a special treat for them. Chocolate layer cake pills. Momar, I'm worried about our children. So am I. They've hardly eaten a thing in three days. It goes deeper than that. They're behaving strangely. They appear to be troubled. They don't care to sleep. I had to use the sleep spray on them again. I mentioned this to my council chiefs today, and I learned it's the same with children all around the planet in every district. Something is happening to the children of Mars. Kima, as leader of the Martians, you must do something about it. I know. But what? Why don't you go to the forest and see Chochem, the Ancient One? He'll know what to do. He's never failed you. You speak wisely. I will go. Attention, Council Chiefs. Please report. Lomas reporting. Rigna reporting. Argo here. Boldar? Boldar, please report. Boldar reporting. Gentlemen of the Council, we will meet immediately at Chochum's chair in Thunder Forest. What's wrong now, Kima? I don't know, Voldar. But I mean to find out. <laughs> when Kimar arrives. We are probably going to seek the advice of Chocho. What does Kimar think we are? A kindergarten class? Can we make our own decisions? Must we always come crawling to that doddering old man? Chocho is 800 years old. You can't dismiss the wisdom of centuries. I can. Gentlemen. Thank you for coming. Chochem? Chochem, are you here? Ancient one of Mars, I call upon you. Chochem, it is I, Kima, and the council chiefs. We need you, Chochem. Kimar. 
We need your advice, Chochun. Something is wrong with our children. They eat not, they sleep not. Their only interest is watching meaningless Earth programs on the video. What time of year is it now? It is the middle of September. No, no, not here. I mean on Earth. Ah, oh, yes. It is early December on Earth. Close to the time of the Christmas. That explains it. What is a Christmas? It is an occasion for great joy and peace on the planet Earth. And for children, it is also a time of anticipation as they await the arrival of Santa Claus and his gifts. Bah! What nonsense! What has this to do with our children, Ancient One? We have no children on Mars. They have children's bodies, but with adult minds. They do not have a childhood. I've seen this coming for centuries. They are born. Our electronic teaching machines are attached to their brain while they are in their cradles. Information is fed into their minds in a constant stream. And by the time they can walk, they are adults. They've never played. They've never learned to have fun. And now, now they are rebelling. What do you advise? The children must be allowed to be children again. They must learn to play. They must learn what it means to have fun. We need a Santa Claus on Mars. Santa Claus on Mars? Will we get a Santa Claus? There's only one Santa Claus, and he's an if. <laughs> Well, I guess that takes care of that. Didn't I tell you it was a foolish idea to seek advice from that old man? This is a serious matter, Voldar. And desperate problems require desperate deeds. Earth has had Santa Claus long enough. We will bring him to Mars. I'm against it. Our children are fine the way they are. I don't want any Santa Claus bringing them toys and games. They'll start playing and laughing and running underfoot. They'll become a nuisance. I've made my decision. We leave for Earth tonight. Vigna. Lomas, prepare spaceship number one. Approaching projected Earth orbit. Fire! Portside rockets number one and number two. Portside rockets number one and number two. Fire! Entering Earth orbit. All right, Boldar, now to find Santa Claus. Turn on your magnoscope to third power. Went over a city of some kind. So that's what the Earth people call a city, eh? How primitive. Look at all those buildings above ground. 
Why, we could destroy that city with one blast of our curé. We've not come here to destroy anyone. My only purpose is to bring Santa Claus back to Mars. Turn to fifth power. Let's see if we can locate Santa Claus. He wears a red suit, trimmed with white fur, and he has a long white beard. But there are millions of people down there. It's like looking for a speck of space dust in a comet's tail. Wait a minute. I see him. I see Santa Claus. I see him, too. He's standing on the corner ringing a bell. No, he's not. He's standing near the entrance of a large building next to a large black kettle. He's standing on the corner, Kima. He's... Wait a minute. I see another one. Well, there are hundreds of Santa Clauses down there. I'm going to bring them all back with us to Mars? Just one. And with so many, they won't miss one. Prepare for a landing on next orbit. We interrupt our program with a special bulletin. An unidentified object has been spotted in orbit around the Earth. The Soviet Union denies it has launched any new space satellites. Our radar stations are tracking the spaceship, or whatever it is. The U.S. Air Force has alerted all defense commands and retaliatory units. Stay tuned for further bulletin. bouncing off our ship. Well, it certainly took them long enough. Hold on. Turn on the radar shield. This functioning of radar shield. Vigna, check the radar box. Radar shield functioning. What was wrong, Vigna? A slight case of drop over. Oh, oh, hi, Chief. What are you doing here, Tom? Oh, 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 well, Chief, I went to the launching pad so I could say goodbye to you, and I remembered. I've never been to Earth. Oh, I thought I wanted to well, I may that. leave you there at Grace of Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Now get below. I'll deal with you later. Oh. Oh. Trouble. Get below quickly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'm... Prepare to land. We'll set down in that field near the lake. Rocket silencer is set. Rotor rockets number one and two. Fire. <laughs> All this trouble over a fat little man in a red suit. Here is another UFO bulletin. The Defense Department has just announced that the unidentified flying object has suddenly disappeared from our radar screen. They believe the object has either disintegrated in space or it may be a spaceship from some other planet which has the ability to nullify our radar beams. <coughs>
Running legs lowered. Attention, crew. This is Kimar. When we've landed, Rigna, Voldar, and I will lead the ship to investigate. Hargo, Lomas, and Droppo will stay on board on constant alert for immediate blast-off. The Defense Department believes that the object spotted on our radar screens might have been nothing more than a meteor which burned up when it entered our atmosphere. Professor Werner von Green, our leading space expert, is still convinced it was a Martian spaceship. Stay tuned for further bullets. Billy, what did the Martian look like? I don't know. Nobody's ever seen one. I don't believe there are any Martians. You don't, huh? What would you do if a Martian walked right up behind you? I scream. Betty, I'm trying to sleep. I see a Martian. Boy, you and your imagination. Come on, let's go home. Who, who are you? We're from Mars. Don't be afraid. We have children just like you on Mars. What are those funny things sticking out of your head? Those are our antenna. Are you a television set? Shh. <laughs> Stupid question. Is this what you want to do to our children on Mars? Turn them into nincompoops like these? Hold your tongue, Voldar. What's your name, little boy? Billy. Billy Foster, sir. And this is my sister, Betty. Perhaps you can help us, Billy. We're looking for one of your Santa Clauses. There's only one Santa Claus. We've seen many of them in your cities. Oh, those are his helpers. There's only one real Santa Claus, and he's in his workshop. Up at the North Pole. That's what we came here to find out. Let's go. Come on, you two. Let me go. Where are you taking us? Leave them alone, Voldar. What? And leave them here to inform the authorities? He's right, Kimar. We better take them along with us to the North Pole. Very well. Come along. <laughs> This morning, two children disappeared mysteriously from the vicinity of Welch Lake. The police have found no clues, and it seems as though Billy and Betty Foster have simply vanished into thin air. This appears to be a day when everything is vanishing into thin air. While local police are continuing their search for the missing children, the armed forces are continuing their search for the mysterious object from space. Nobody's here. Come on in. Wally! Now, I'm not supposed to bring you here. The chief's gonna be awful mad if he finds us. Boy, wait till the kids at home find I was in a real Martian spaceship. Now, now, don't touch it! Now, here. That's the anti-gravity generator. And these are the retro rockets. Does this light up? Only when radar waves are bouncing off our ship. Then we put up this radar screen, then nobody can find us in space. Boy, that's <laughs> pretty sharp. Yeah. What's this, Joppo? Oh, that's the elevator signal. That light starts flashing when somebody's coming up from the navigation deck. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Somebody's coming up. Thinking of taking another nap in the radar box, Droppo? No, sir. As a matter of fact, I was just looking in there to remind myself never to hide in there again. <laughs> I bet. No. Approaching North Pole. I can see Santa Claus' workshop. I prepare for landing. Hargo, set the rocket silences. 
Trouble? You stay aboard and guard those children. They must not leave the ship now. Now or ever. What do you mean, Polgar? If we take them with us to Mars, Santa's disappearance will remain a mystery. No one on Earth will ever know that Santa Claus was kidnapped by Martians. Perhaps you're right. Drop him. Yes, sir. Get back to those children and don't let them out of your sight. Understand? Yes, sir, I understand. I'll, I'll keep an eye. We've landed. Secure the ship. Lomas, you remain on guard and have the ship ready for immediate blast off. Rigna, Argo, Voldar, you'll accompany me. Come. We'll activate Torg. Torg? To capture a roly-poly little man like Santa Claus? We don't need Torg. We won't take any chances. Come. Nothing can stop Torg. Swiftly, we can't afford to make any mistakes. Argo, you cover the rear of the workshop. Rigna, Boldar, cover the front entrance. I'll direct Torgs. Boldar isn't here. Rigna, go up and tell Boldar. Boldar, this is another one of your delaying tactics. You've been opposing me at every turn. Now I'm warning you, change your attitude. You finished, Chief? Yes, I am, and you will be, too, if you're not careful. Oh, but I am careful, Chief. So careful that I looked in at the children before I left the ship. You stay away from those children. That'll be easy to do. They've escaped. Voldar, if this is your idea of a joke... Ask Droppo. They overheard our plans. At this very moment, they're on their way to Santa Claus to warn him. It's true, Kima. They're footprints. We must stop them. Those children mustn't reach Santa Claus. Follow them. I'll put Torg on the trail. Torg, come out of the spaceship. Torg, come out of the spaceship. Shop must be 
somewhere around here. Betty, look! It's Bulldog! He's the mean one. The one who doesn't like us. Come on! Take a look. It's all right now, Betty. Come on. I'm cold. I wish it wouldn't snow. That's the best thing that could happen. It'll cover our tracks and be harder for the Martians to find us. And it'll be harder for us to find Santa's workshop. I'm scared. We'll find it. Which way is north? Try something like this. I set Torg's control so he will obey only me. Release him, Torg. You were very lucky. Now don't try to escape again. You may not be so lucky next time. Cargo, take them back to the ship, lock them up, and rejoin us. You won't get away with this, you, you Martian. The danger grows with every minute. Let's get Santa Claus and blast off. We'll surround the workshop and send Torg in to get Santa. Nobody is to be harmed unless they get in our way. Ah, no one is to be harmed. What has happened to the great warriors of our planet? Mars used to be the planet of war. Mark my words, Kima. Your softness will destroy us. Santa Claus, toys, games, laughing children. We shall see. But for now, to your posts. Torg, follow me.
Get him, Torg. Santa's treating him like a toy. Get him, Torg. Grab him. He's become a toy. Ligna, we'll have to get Santa ourselves. Come on, Volgar. <laughs> <laughs> what have we here? More toys? <laughs> Those are Martians. Santa Claus, you're coming with us. No, you can't take him now. It's too near Christmas. Quiet, you. But... We don't want to hurt you, Santa Claus, so come along quietly. Why? Why did you have to do that to my helper? It's harmless. It'll wear off in a short while. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Now, you come with us. We need you on Mars. Are you sure this is harmless? Oh, I never saw such lazy people. Standing around like statues. There's work to be done. Let's get to it. Oh, my, oh, me, oh, me. Oh, Mrs. Claus is going to be very angry about this. Take him, Torg. Torg, take him. Obey my command. I get it, Kima. Wigner was right. He's nothing but a toy now. Best to leave him here. Believe me, I had nothing whatsoever to do about this. You know, my dear, I can't recall a time when you were so silent for so long. Let's go, old man. Mrs. Santa Claus has positively identified the kidnappers as Martians. Never in the history of mankind have the nations of the world reacted with such unanimity and cooperation. Tonight, the lights will burn until dawn in the United Nations building, as the leaders of the world map the course of action. And at Cape Kennedy, our correspondent interviewed Werner von Green, the man in charge of America's star shot program. Mr. Von Green, what is the space agency doing about this? Well, we have mobilized all the men and equipment in our Starshot project. And we have rushed our astronauts into an intensive program for the final phase of their training. Now our Starshot ship is supposed to undergo six months of test flights. But we are going to forget about the testing and go after those Martian monkeys. Isn't that risky? Of course it is risky. But every one of our astronauts is begging for the chance to go after the Martians. Who wouldn't give everything to bring Santa back to our children? beams being bounced off our ship. Looks like we made a clean getaway. (laughs) 
How's our captain? He's having the time of his life. He's such a funny little man. Why, I have only been with him for five minutes, and he has me laughing just like an earthling. <laughs> What's soft and round, and, and you put it on a stick, and, and you toast it in a fire, and, and it's green? I don't know. What? A Martian! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're all becoming. Marshmallows. Soft. Weak. That old man is a menace. And it was a very foggy Christmas Eve. Well, I could barely make out this chimney in the fog. But I found it all right, and I started to crawl in. Well, I tell you, it was the biggest chimney I'd ever been in. And then suddenly, suddenly I realized it wasn't a chimney at all. It was the smokestack of the Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> well, don't you think that was funny? Yes, Santa. Uh, well, why don't you laugh? Gee, Santa, it's all our fault. We told them where to find you. Oh, Boulder Dash and a fiddle dee dee, Philly boy. Everybody knows where Santa lives. Besides, I've always wanted to visit Mars. Mommy and Daddy are going to be angry. You think that's something? I can just see Mrs. Claus now. Christmas coming, and I'm not there. She'll have a fit. <laughs> oh, me, oh, my, oh, me. Come and get it. Dinner time. <laughs> Here's Droppo. If I can't cheer you up, Trouble, Ken. He always makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, you'll have a wonderful dinner tonight. Oh, soup and beef stew and chocolate ice cream. No, thank you, Trouble. I'm not hungry. <gasps> Come on, Billy. Oh. Well, is it all right if I have your chocolate ice cream? Sure. Oh, I just love chocolate ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Mars must be a terrible place to live. Some chocolate ice cream. Pills for dinner. <laughs> I suppose if a Martian has a headache, he doesn't take pills. He takes chocolate ice cream. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Kimo, look at this. That small blip is not an asteroid. It's a spaceship, and it's on our tail. It's getting closer. Impossible, Rigna. They couldn't have spotted us. We have our radar shield on. I know that, sir, but they are gaining on us. Is it possible Earth has a secret device that can penetrate our radar shield? They have a secret device, and his name is Billy Foster. I warned you that these Earthlings are dangerous. They'll destroy us if we allow them. Well, I won't allow them. I think we underestimate the resourcefulness of these Earth people. Very clever of the boy. Make the repairs, Rigna. I'll take evasive action. Well, and how is Santa and the little Earthling? Why, it must be tiresome cooped up in this little room. Say. How would you like to see the rest of the ship? You're not fooling me. You don't like us. You're mean. Oh, come on now. That's not true. Why, Santa makes everyone feel good. Even me. I don't trust you. No, no, Billy boy. That's not the Christmas spirit. Why, of course, Boulder. We'd love to take the grand tour. All right, children. This room is called... Sarah. That's right. Sure. This is where you come when you're ready to go out in space. It's airtight. You put on your spacesuit and go out through that door. When you come back, the door closes and they pump air back into the room through there. When it reaches the pressure of the rest of the ship, you can take your spacesuit off. Smart, lad. Where's the controller that opens the door, sir? Not here. 
That's in the control deck. You see, once you pull that switch, the warning bell sounds, and in 60 seconds, that door opens. That's to give us space and a chance to make a final checkup on their equipment. There's nowhere out in space. If that door were open now, it will pull all the air out of this room and us with it. You certainly know a great deal about space travel, son. He's going to be a spaceman when he grows up. Maybe sooner than that. Santa, that clock stopped. 60 seconds. That must be the door timer. Santa, he locked us in. Oh, I don't think so. He probably just stepped off for a moment. It's locked. I don't trust Baldor. He's not like Kim or any others. I don't like him. I'm worried, Santa. Now, now, children, let's not get excited. came up here and accidentally threw the door switch, we knew we had to get out of there in a hurry, or that would be the end of us. And, uh, accidentally, of course. <laughs> so it throws out through the air duct. The air duct? But the air duct is just a little... and, and you're so big. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you're talking to Santa Claus, son. Yeah. <laughs> But how? Well, well, now, you wouldn't want me to tell my secret, would you? <laughs> oh, 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 poor man. He's painted just like someone who's seen a ghost. <laughs> Secured the ship and lower the ladder. You and Hargo get Boldar out of the brig and take him to the council room. He'll stand trial immediately. All right, Chief. We've landed. Hatch open. Hatch open. Ladder down. Power off. Ship secure. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride no one. Uh, Merry Christmas, Baldar. All right, on your feet, come on. Ah. Drop him! 
I was handing me boot pills through the bars, and he grabbed my... Shut up, Bravo. Kima, come in quickly. Kima? Yes, Ragnar. Voldor has escaped. What? He's gone. That can only mean trouble. Put a constant guard on Santa and the Earth children. Voldar will be back. No, Gomar, I'll call you the moment he arrives. Is Drapo coming back too? Yes, Germar, now go back to your studies. Oh, Kima! Are you alone? No. Well... Earthlings, Billy and Betty. Welcome to our home. There's someone else, too. Come on, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Beaumont, I'm not accustomed to entering people's homes through the door, but you have no chimney. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Santa Claus. We hope you'll make the children on Mars very happy. I'll try, dear lady. I'll try. Where are they? Where are they? Well, we'll start with my youngsters. How are they, Momar? The same. Quiet, remote, and very unhappy. They're inside studying. Well, let old Santa say hello to them. And I'm sure these children would like to meet them. I'll tell them you're here. Y over five pi r squared to determine the correct orbit from Mars to Jupiter, traveling along vector A through the 17th quadrant at the power of 12 megatrons. Father, Father, we missed you. <laughs> I missed you too. Children, I brought some visitors from Earth. Will you come in, please, children? Billy and Betty, this is Bomar and Germar. Hi. There's nothing in it. What are you giving me? My hand to shake. How old are you? Ten. I'm ten too. And Germar's eight. So is my sister. We have another Earth person that wants to see you. In months, they've gone to sleep without the sleep spray. Santa, tomorrow we'll set up a workshop for you. It won't be exactly the same as the one you have on Earth, but I'm sure it'll serve your purpose. Good, good. Now, I'd like to get going and have the toy shop operating full blast so as I can return to Earth for Christmas. You know, Mrs. Claus is a very good-natured woman, but... Santa I Claus, you will never return to Earth. Oh, yeah. Now you belong to Mars. Ho, ho, ho. Me, Oldar, 
hiding in a dirty cave like a speckled Mars worm. Oh, Kima, we'll get this out finally. That's easy. Let's get rid of the little fat friend in the red suit. <laughs> oh, that's suicide. Santa Claus is under constant guard. We couldn't get within 20 feet of him without being disintegrated. But I have other plans. <laughs> You know, they got one little toy. It's the cutest thing. It's just a coiled spring. And it goes down steps all by itself. I was tempted to steal one. I'd like to fool around with the thing. Toys! The decay is setting in. It's even affecting you. Soon all of Martians will be blithering idiots. But we've no time to lose. We must go into action. Now, we cannot eliminate Santa Claus, but we can discredit him. Make him a laughing stock throughout Mars. <laughs> Come on, now listen carefully. The workshop closes at 10 o'clock. The guards will be in Kimar's house, guarding Santa Claus. Now, this is what we'll do. See? You take the lamp, Joe. Hi, Billy. Everything okay? Gee, Doug, we're everything's great. Thousands of letters from all over Mars. Yours. <laughs> Two dolls. Two dolls, yes, Betty. Three baseball bats. Three baseball bats. Look at me, Santa Claus, the great toy maker, pressing buttons, that's automation for you, technology, sweet, <laughs> well, that's enough for today. Let's close up shut. Pretty nice, eh? Lady Moma made it for me. Can I try it on Santa? <laughs> Don't be silly, Droppo. This would never fit you. Why, well, you have to fatten up first. <laughs> <laughs> Another day gone, children. As they say on earth, another day, another dollar. Well, hello, Santa. How are you feeling today? Tired? No, no, I'm not tired. But my finger is. It's been pressing buttons all day long. <laughs> well, I think I'll go in and put my finger to bed. <laughs> Here, children, here's your milk. You can play for half an hour, and then you'll have to go to bed. Daddy, may we watch the Earth program? Certainly, dear, but only for half an hour. Billy? Betty? Don't you want to watch the Earth program? Oh, no, sir. We're not interested in Earth programs. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Me, too. Just a moment. Good night, Mr. Kimar. Good night, Lady Mama. Just a moment, children. Are you feeling well? Oh, we feel fine, sir. Good night. Good night. Has someone been mistreating you? Oh, no, sir. You and Lady and Mama have just been swell to us. Good night. What could it be, Mama? They're behaving the way our children used to behave. Can't you tell, Kima? They're homesick. They miss their parents, their friends. 
Kima, you've got to send those children back. Impossible. Shanna says I gotta fatten up. Hmm. Walton milk. Chocolate cake. Hmm. Banana split. Hmm. With whipped cream. Mm. That takes too long. I'm tired. I think I'll go down to the workshop and make some more toys. Ho, ho, ho! Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Ho, ho, ho! he up to now? Good morning. Good morning, Lady Moma. Oh, oh, my extra suit. The one you made for me is missing. I'm sure I brought it home from the toy shop last night. That's two things that are missing. Your suit and dropper. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> that explains it. When you find my missing suit, You'll find Ruffo inside it. He's out someplace playing Santa Claus. <laughs> Take care of him. Oh, no, no. No, I'll let him have his fun. He's probably at the toy shop making toys. He loves it. <laughs> Children, will you please hurry? Breakfast is ready. Yes, yes. If you don't hurry, your breakfast will get cold. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Rappo, we're here. He's hiding, Santa. Oh, plain hide and seek, eh? All right, Rappo. Here we come, ready or not. <laughs> He's not here, Santa. That's funny. Oh, well, he'll turn up. Let's get started. Hey, Ready? Okay. Let's go. One teddy bear and one dog. One teddy bear and one dog. Santa, stop the machine! Look! The dog has a teddy bear tag, and the teddy bear has a dog tag. I can't understand it. Well, let's try it again. What's next, Betty? One baseball bat. A uh, baseball tennis. Uh, why, uh, this will never do. The machine isn't working right. Oh, dear. What else, Betty? A toy train. A toy train. Well, all right, yeah. Why, this doesn't make sense. Well, this never happened when we made toys by hand. Something very strange is happening here. Boomer, I think you'd better call your father. Father? Father, this is Boomer. Yes, Boomer. Father, we're in the toy shop. Droppo isn't here. And there's something wrong with the toy machine, too. I'll be right over. It's time to go. Sim, wake up. I still think you're making a mistake. It's too dangerous walking right into the enemy camp. Kimaro's men wouldn't dare lay a finger on us. Not while we're keeping Santa Claus a hostage. Now, if we're not back in three hours, you know what to do. All right, Sim. Open the nuclear curtain. Just a word of warning. If you got any big ideas, forget it. If you walk through that nuclear curtain, you'll be disintegrated like that. Sabotage. Somebody switched all the wiring. Droppo's gone, your suit is missing, and now this machine's been sabotaged. Put them all together, it spells Voldar. He was here, and he thought Droppo was me. He's got Droppo, and I'm going to find him. Poor Droppo. Surprised to see us? You're under arrest, Voldar. <laughs> Stop playing with toys. Put it away, Kima. We have a weapon that's much more potent than that. As you may know, we are holding Santa Claus a hostage. One false move, and your little ho, ho, ho man will be destroyed. <laughs> All right, what do you want, Voldar? These are our terms. First, destroy the toy machine. Second, we will release Santa Claus if you promise to send him and the Earthlings back to their planet. Third, no more joy through toys nonsense on Mars. Well? Well, you win. Are you sure you have Santa Claus? You know we have him. You mean you had him? How did he get out of the cage? Shit, that idiot! <laughs> How'd he get here? So fast! Uh, Santa Claus has powers that you don't know about. All right, arms up. Rigna, Argo, Lomas, report. This is Rigna, Kimo. Argo and Lomas are with me. Good. I've got Voldar and Stobo. I'll keep them here in the storeroom of the toy shop. Rigna, you come here and take them off my hands. I want Argo and Lomas to look for a man named Shim. Tell them to search the caves along the transverse canal. Right, Kimo. All right, you two. 
In there. All right, you might as well relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Sit down. any more trouble. Well, now, I think that should do it, Billy boy. Close the door, son. Now, I think we need a little red paint, and you'll find it in the storeroom. Sure, Santa. Yes, such a good boy. This time I'll take care of Santa Claus for good and smash that machine. Santa! Santa! Bolga and another man are in the storeroom and they're coming to get you. Oh, they are, are they? Yeah. Well, maybe they'd like to have some fun with our toys. And we'll see that they do. Won't we, kids? Again, eh? I don't know how you escape Shim, but you won't escape me. You're through. Goldar, why don't you uh, relax? You're going to relax permanently. <laughs> Take 
children. Thank you, Santa, for bringing happiness to the children of Mars. And the Christmas spirit to all of us. Sir, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you and yours the very best of everything. Christmas Eve. Yay! Shall we get going? Yay! Goodbye, dear friends. Away!
<laughs> so you would run away from home. <laughs>
Alright, welcome back to the fight pack. Hope you've all enjoyed the entertainment today and the uh, the food selections we have here for Christmas. So we're about uh, 60 miles out from top of descent. Just going to grab the current Matar, which is uh, actually not looking too bad, although it just updated. Um, put it into the chat. So there we go. So it's an automated forecast. Winds are 200 at 9 knots. 10,000 meters visibility. There's some light slow snow, but no clouds detected, so I'm not where, sure where it's coming from. It's minus 12 degrees. QNH 1, uh, sorry, 986. Then there may be uh, freezing drizzle in the area as well. So it's not too bad, but we've got no clouds. So we should be okay. So we're going to start entering in some of our information as we get ready. We're going to be descending on the uh, Nem Gu. Is it two Charlie, two Charlie, and uh, we're going to head down to uh, V Kip, where we'll be making a right-hand turn, and that will bring us in for the intercept for the ILS for runway two one, Cat two ILS Zulu. No, li light snow, not light snow, or slow. Uh, we're probably going to get off the runway at around Hotel or Bravo. One of those two, and then we'll be going into the ramp. And uh, should all be good there. going to pull up the ground chart for the airport. And we'll see our parking stands. Where we're going to go, we're going to target the terminal 6 or 789 in around there. We'll uh, see what we end up with. It is kind of busy there. Um, so we'll have to see. So let's get our uh, information in and ready to go. So we're going to drop down to the pedestal here. Uh, come on. I don't want the outside. There we go. So on that one, we're going to put in the ILS frequency, which is 1117. Uh, that is now in there. Nav 2, we're going to put in the... Uh, airport VOR which is 1177 there we go I'll get that locked in there so they're both in for course runway course is 205 degrees and we're going to do the same thing on the other side because the beacon is pretty much on the airport and it'll give us a pointer to the airport as we fly around for now, two will set that up and then 205 as well on nav two. Our uh, top of descent are, is coming up. We're about uh, 31 miles away now. And we're going to be going down to 2,400 feet for our final. And see we're going in through the Nemgu, working our way down. There's where we make our turn in, pick up the glide slope, and all the way down to the runway. So that is all looking good. We can put in 2,400 feet here. First we'll monitor as we go. And we're going to put the runway heading in just in case we need it on the manual mode of 205 as well for the heading. So I hope you've enjoyed your flight and we're uh, shortly going to be starting our descent. So it's going to be me, then Dark, and then there's a little bit of a gap, and then it's Kevin and Christian. Fuel is looking good. 
So destination weather has been obtained and we have uh, read through it. Arrival data is all set. Landing altitude will confirm 650 feet is correct. Radios are set. We're still on 122.8, which is the Unicom frequency. Uh, anti ice is not on. Uh, skies are clear, so we don't need it. We're not getting any warnings either. Localizer, ILS frequency, and courses are all set up and should be showing. Morning recall is clear. MCP is set up 2400 feet. We got the heading in at 205 and we're on VNAV speed. Altimeters again, two niner. Or is there not two niner? 986 is where we are, so we'll tune the standby. I'm not sure why that's not changing over. There we are. Reference. There we go. Nine eight six is set. Oh, it's changing that as well. Well, we don't want that, so we'll go back to standard there. Didn't realize the standby was linked as well. Yeah, we have a little bit of traffic in the area. It is busy at the airport. There's a FedEx coming in from up north. There's uh, a couple others coming in from the south. Looks like I got a G German Wings, Edelweiss, a couple others. Uh, currently on the board, there's 12 arrivals, uh, 29 arrivals, 12 departures. So we'll have to make sure we slot ourselves in nicely there. VNAV path is now showing. One mile. And we're in descent mode. Engines are retarding. We got our deviation index is showing. Rovani Amy Traffic this Skyways 5556, five, living flight level 370 for the Nengu 2 Charlie arrival for the ILS runway 21 at the Rovaniemi. So now we go. So we're going to set our minimums now. Uh, our minimums on this for the Cat 2 uh, landing is going to be 710 feet, but it's going to be a radar altitude of 124 as we are a Cat C aircraft. Uh, you didn't hear me, Dark? Uh, I did press the button. So we're going to go to radio and 124 will be our altitude. There we go. Don't let any cats loose in my cabin. Uh, might just be out of range, Dark. I don't know. It's 122.8. Well, looks like an easy jet just landed there at uh, EFRO. Ah, uh, yes. Well, what's the uh, difference between a... Oh, no, it's not Cat A, 3A, or 3B anymore. What was it HD was saying? It's a... Uh, <coughs> um, I can't remember how he worded it. 
Anyway, we're picking up the uh, airport VOR, 98 miles. Looks like we're number four. Let's see where that FedEx lands. The other two are definitely going to be ahead of me. And then there's a bunch coming up from the south. A couple Finnairs, British Airways. Skyways five 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 six speedbird eight seven five. Go ahead, speedbird. Uh, yeah. Could you just confirm your uh, speed for us, please? Uh, currently uh, Mach point seven one. Roger. Thanks for that. We'll slow down to keep these separations. Speedbird eight seven five. We'll uh, pin it at. Uh, uh, showing 270 indicated just to maintain it consistent for you. Roger, thanks for that. See you later, bye. Alright, so we're going to pin it at 270. Um, that will uh, keep us a consistent rate down. Because he is fairly close. At least I heard you that time, Dirk, so I don't know why uh, it didn't come up before. Everything is uh, looking good as we descend. Yeah. So we're going to make this turn. There's our entry point into the arrival. Some lights down there. That's uh, Calix, the community on the uh, coastline. The uh, when I was coming in last night, when they uh, turned on the landing lights at 10,000 feet, it looked like we were in a blizzard. Um, and then when we got down to about four, to turn into heavy rains. It's kind of interesting watching it change as we descended down. On landing, I noticed that there was all kinds of snow caked on the inside of the engine intake cowl, uh, like a not snow, it frosted up, which is rather interesting. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be going in behind the FedEx. And we got the Eurowings coming up from the south. I forgot to start my clock. Oh well. We're uh, not bad. The schedule says we should be arriving in 32 minutes. So I think we're doing alright. But no real delays and no weather issues. on profile speeds holding that'll let the Euro wings get a little bit further ahead of us give us a little bit of spacing yeah you get the uh, instant warp speed effect with the snow it is kind of neat when you pop in and out of clouds though when you got these holes in them these, they illuminate and fade and illuminate and fade
So the approach of Mr. Approach is going to be straight in for the ILS. The Mr. Approach is climbed straight ahead to rope off to 2,500 feet, and then we'll reset for a, another entry. Um, not anticipating seeing that as an issue, though. So it should be good. You can see it's rope off right there, so that's where we'd end up. And then we'd uh, go around and uh, try it again. You got the performance package? <laughs> yeah, carbon brakes. All right, so we're looking good. No one's showing up on the TCAS quite yet. And there's 20,000 feet coming up, so I'm going to turn off the uh, overhead lights. We're going to put the seatbelt signs on. And make sure the cabin crew know that we are on our way down. So cabin crew, 25 minutes to landing. We'll be cleaning up in the back, getting the cabin prepared. Ladies and gentlemen, the flight crew has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. So it looks like uh, the Eurowings is coming in on uh, the Nipex or the Ren V. Not sure which one he's doing. Should be a little bit ahead of us. Dark, I'm going to slow to 250 just to give him room. Um, I don't want to uh, get rammed up his backside as we come in here. Speed is slowly coming off. I think he's got a straighter shot up to Mipgo than I do. He's coming in this way. Hey, not laser. How you doing? You join us for the uh, descent. We're just descending through uh, 17,000 feet. Cabin is being cleaned up. All right. So minimums are set. Approach and misapproach has been briefed. Auto brakes are set to auto brakes too. We're cleared through transition, so we're going to switch over on the altimeter to Niner 86. And cabin pressure is doing what it's supposed to be doing. I think that's the other guy over there. See the flashing lights off in the distance. Bravo Navy traffic, speed medics of 5, we're just in through 5040, following them, good to Charlie Rival, into 2 1. <laughs> Alright, we're down to 250 knots. We may have to slow a bit more. Yeah, there he is there.
We'll hold it at 250 for the moment. There's our turn. <coughs> Raveni MB traffic skyway is 5556 at Nemgu. Passing flight level 135 on the Nemgu to Charlie arrival, ILS runway 21, uh, Romani Heavy. Romani, I always get those letters mixed up. Yeah, there he is there. So we're going to slide in behind him. FedEx is coming in from the other side, so he'll be fine. is so I think that's dark behind us there although he should be on the other side of us there's uh, that other aircraft right there on the TCAS oh there he is popped in so he's uh, about 10 miles out so that's that's not bad is. So he's heading direct in. I'm coming in this way. So we're going to catch up a little bit. I'm going to just uh, slow down to 240. Yeah, we're going to get in a little bit closer to him than I'd like. speed back I think he uh, that's departing traffic down there over the town It's 10,000 feet. <clears throat> There's that guy there. Cabin pressure is looking good. Landing lights are on. Turn off lights are on. Taxi light is on. Seat belt signs are on. We'll ding the cabin. Just let them know we're passing through 10,000 feet. <clears throat> There's departing traffic and arriving traffic. Right, he's only five miles ahead, so we're going to slow down to two three zero. There's the airport. That's a. Uh, the fin air. That's uh, zero wings going out. That's an easy jet going out. Right. So that should let him get a little bit further ahead of us. So we'll make the turn. <coughs> Not hearing any call signs, calls coming from these guys. Got another FedEx heading out of here. Oh, I think he's doing a missed approach. He's going around. Still only five miles out. I'm going to bring the speed back to 220. First notch of flaps. Let's look at our flap speeds here. I'm going to flaps five.
Over me traffic hearing 9270 uh, currently inbound Ekinom. And there's flaps five. Your Owings uh, 9270, Skyway is 5556. Five, five, I've slowed down to 220. If you keep your speed up a little bit, it should give us some good spacing. Um, uh, is it okay if you stay at uh, 250? Then you can diesel at 220. Yeah, if you're at 250, that's fine. I'm down to 220 right now. Alright, that's great. Um, I'll keep the speed uh, up as uh, much as possible. Thank you. Alright, so we are looking good. <coughs> the FedEx guy is going around. Airport's off to our side. We're going to extend our spacing here. Seven thousand feet. I do have to reduce to to two four zero knots now. Yeah, Roger. We should be good. Yeah, you do what you have to do. I'll just uh, keep a slower speed for uh, spacing. Roger that. <coughs> All right, we're going to come in. Moving traffic, speedbird A75, we're inbound Miko, and we'll just listen to the comms and the traffic in front to sequence ourselves uh, behind them. So at 210, we can drop down to flaps 10, and uh, we'll hold there until we're on our approach. So now, of course, and frequencies are set, speeds are in limits, speed break is... I can't see there, is armed. It's 200 knots, flaps 10. It's 5,500 feet. Rovaniemi traffic, Eurowings 90270 on final on for runway 21. Uh, approach VRAF not selected. Uh, uh, where do I do that? Oh, approach. Uh, we're going flaps 40 at yeah, 133. Here's our turn. Rovaniemi <coughs> traffic reducing to 200 knots. Eurowings uh, 92276, uh, sorry. Eurowings 92270. Speed coming back to 185. Uh, it looks like FedEx has disconnected. There we go. I see the localizer. So, VOR localizer is armed. And Rovaniemi traffic, Euro Wings 90270, we are using to final approach speed. Rovaniemi traffic. And glide slope is showing, so, and we're below the glide. Approach mode is now armed. VOR lock armed, glide slope armed. <clears throat> Speed of 185, we'll make the turn. There's a turn, 
Localizer captured. So we want uh, 133 plus 5, that's going to be a 138 approach speed. Five. There's dark coming in. Rovaniemi traffic, uh, short final runway two one. Rovaniemi traffic, skyways five 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 six established on the localizer eight miles final uh, runway two one. Speed coming back, 65 knots, gear down, flaps 15. It's 2,700 feet, heading for 24. Flaps 25. Everything is uh, looking good. Glide slope captured. The approach speed set. Missed approach altitude set. Speed coming down. 155 knots, flaps 30. Yeah, no Christmas breeze. And flaps full. <clears throat> Reference speed is set. Both autopilots are on. Flaps are set. Go around altitude is set. Thousand to go. Runway's in sight. Landing gear is confirmed down. Confirmed. Three green speed brakes are armed. Cabin is notified. One thousand. Thousand to go. It's not bad. We're arriving about uh, twelve minutes early today. Have a, a nice uh, 10,000 foot runway. Eight two five now on the localizer two one ten miles. <clears throat> I think that's uh, Kevin coming in that we can Four. see there. All right, autopilot disengaged. Three hundred. Auto throttles disengaged. Minimums. Landing. 40. 30. 20. Auto brakes on, Mercer's on. Probably need to be trusted. He's at 6 up Charlie, we're just turning uh, left. Base for 2 1, coming in the United States, up in the traffic. 60 knots. Flaps 15. Disengaged, we're going to go ahead down to the next one here. Auto brakes disengaged. 
Welcome to Finland. And roll damage traffic. Detour is one minute over heavy. You go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination. The local time is 6.27 p.m. And it's currently about... Right, roll damage traffic. Detour is one minute over heavy is uh, three miles to take up and it's going Finland for speed. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt... Roll damage traffic. traffic. Skyway is 5556. Five, 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 clear runway 21. Flaps up, speed brakes disarmed. <clears throat> Let's get the landing lights are off, turn off lights are off, taxi light is on, APU is starting, continuous ignition off. Uh, steady. See in. We're going to head to gate 8 looks free. Uh, why is this not the add-on scenery? That is interesting. Because I do have the add-on scenery installed. Weird. Well, thank you, uh, not loser. Traffic speed towards one and a heavy is on the low side of the island 2 1. And the on. And we can do our afternoon. So flaps are retracted, speed brakes are on. APU is up, APU bleeds can come on. Traffic, Lufthansa 1 Victor X ray, oh, the APU generator. Now turning to the cup, 5,000 feet. All right, taxi, APU gins, and parking brakes. So fuel control levers, we're going to come down here, we're going to get the ground power connected first though. Let's go over here and in here. Uh, let's get the chocks put in. Get the ground power. Anti-collision light. Oh, no, it will stay on. Ground power is available. Alright, we switched over. Fuel control levers are coming off. Open image traffic, speed with one minute tango heavy, fire lines on ILS, um, two one right, please advise. Anti-collision light is... You're on the ILS at the moment. Open image traffic, speed with A75, now vacated. Turn off the APU bleeds, isolation valve... Aircraft will go. Back. If you keep the speed up, I'll come in behind you from uh, two two for uh, two one. Uh, Roger, what's, what do you uh, Flight like? directors uh, are off. Yeah, 1 8 will be perfect because I'm doing 200 at the moment. And. Roger, currently, uh, we are good. Uh, we do force glides up to 180 and keep it till. I guess 6, 6 7 DME. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Thank you. And we'll uh, 
Start the cargo unloading as the passengers start unloading as well. Start getting these guys all coming in. Here come the stairs. See, this is their I don't know. Maybe this is the way it's supposed to look. I thought it looked differently. Let's do a quick. Uh... No, uh, no, that's got all the Christmas lights. For some reason, my memory was playing tricks, and I thought it was a little bit different. What? Looks like uh, Dark's coming in. And deboarding has started. So we are all good. The carts are all coming in now as well. So thanks everyone for joining us for the fight. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, we'll see you Monday for our world tour as we continue that. Other than that, have a great weekend, have a great Christmas, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.